guys, Coach here. Hey, Happy New Year if you're getting this in the early part of the year. Hey, this week's plan of the week is the double pink knockout rose. Double pink. It's bubblegum pink. And the reason I bring you this is not because it's just a rose. It's a very tolerant rose. It can go from zones 5 all the way up to zones 11, which is almost, almost everywhere except for the really far reaches of our northern latitudes. Goes to about three feet tall, about three to four feet wide, untamed. If you can nip and tuck it, um, the further south you are, the less dormant it is. Really good performance if after the first big flush of pink flowers, and as they mature, they get bigger than this. They get probably about that big. So these are just babies, and Take off that first flush back to the first five leaflet, five leaflets, and it'll flush back out. And it'll bloom from early spring, depending on where you're located, all the way till the first frost and even beyond. Now I'm down here in the middle part of Florida at the end of December filming this. And you can see, you can see down here in Florida this time of year. Now for you guys up in uh, Minnesota, northern Michigan, these guys are pretty much probably asleep right now, almost defoliated, probably a couple of rose hips on them. Okay, well next month is the time to go in and nip and tuck them back about halfway and then watch them come back to life. But the double pink, double pink knockout rose, that's this week's plan of the week. Look forward to your guys' garden center or retail nursery where you guys live and ask for it. Great middle of the bed filler plant in mass for maximum effect. So, doesn't require a lot of food, maybe twice a year for the most part, unless you're in a super sandy soil, probably four times a year. And it's pretty much pest and disease free. That's why they're so popular. The Double Pink Knockout Rose, check it out. I'll see you guys next week, bye.